Welcome to a new episode of Masters of Faith. Today with even less people than the last time. No, still four, still four. I oh no, he got his hair. Yes, he <laughs> cut my hair. Yeah, now I see it too. Nice hairstyle. Oh. I, I am actually nice. not the same person as before. I am a clone. Because the real one is on vacation right now. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah, I, they cut me so many air that the the person that was there thought they cut air for like four people, and the guy from the barbershop was like, "What the fuck? Did we have four customers like in two seconds?" <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, welcome to the new session of Masters of Fate. Tonight we will keep up with episode five. Last episode was like full of surprises and I hope that tonight uh, you will also enjoy whatever is going to happen today. So, what do you remember about the last session? The Dreus is fine because he was not dead, so I will leave the word to the others. Fate. Zombies. That's what Zombies. I remember. <laughs> okay. At the very end of the last session, Verkill the droid corrupted a lot of droids using some strange gas bombs that hit like very a lot of areas of the city of Tusele, which is where the story is set up right now, on the northern side of Vals. The cities were in complete disarray, a lot of people started to get killed. And strangely enough, it seemed that only the droids were affected by this. But as you were running, you could have sworn that even some mages were corrupted by that poison. The only people that were not corrupted were the humans. So the party ran, and ran inside of a commercial center, where they finally, with a little, little bit of struggle, reached the top. This is where we are starting from, where the bear, Rio, Marcus, the mage, Samir, and the star child, Erene, next to Yvette, of which the player is not with us, unfortunately, today, are in the roof, looking at this spectacle. And as they do, they ping a very strange connection. Rio, on your data pad, you hear like there is a strange ping coming from. If you don't really uh, know where it is right now, you should identify it first. So what you're gonna do? Okay, so I try to identify it. Okay, please give me a roll. Difficulty four, thinking. I have plus four, I think. Okay, so you rolled two. Very well. Yeah, it was six. You notice that it's coming from uh, the area, even more northern from where you are, and it's a ping from Redreos. Okay. Redreos. So I take it? Yeah, you notice it. And uh, you feel like that there is something wrong with this signal. But there's wait a minute. So I, I'll get to you in can I ask him what's wrong with the signal? It's uh, it's being disrupted because you feel like that the user is uh, um, in kind of a disarray situation. But you cannot understand what type of situation it is. Then Serena looks at you and she's like. Real chan what's going on? You're troubled. Uh, I'm getting some signals from Redreus, but uh, they are really confused. I can't really get to him. I don't know what's happening. Oh, you know what it is? I can bring you there. Oh, really? Oh, yes. And she turns like into a dragon. <laughs> like, uh, like Coralia the last time. She's smaller, though. That was easy. <laughs> Come on, jump in. So let's go. We'll bring you there. 
let's go. Does, does everybody go jump on the dragon, or you just want to do something else in the meantime? Um, if I'm directly next to her, then I will also jump on it. Okay, so everybody, Samir also jumps on the dragon. I'm blowing. Okay. Yvette also uh, follows up, and she jumps into the dragon, and you start flying towards the northern area. In the meantime, we will uh, go a little back in time. Pretty much uh, during the um, events that uh, caused uh, Berkel to reveal himself and his plan. Redreus, before everything that you're seeing right now happens, you decided to follow Bolo into the meeting of uh, the leader one of the leaders of the Dragon Gang, June, and because he wanted to inform her about what happened to her mother, Midnight, and help her if she needed to, because if the Dragon Gang was there, it means that there was something going on. Wait a second. That's an ambulance. <laughs> So, <laughs> you um, were brought into a bar, and inside that bar, you witnessed the conversation between June and Volo that explained the situation to her. And while she was extremely sad that saddened about it, uh, you uh, were just a little bit, you know, behind. Imagine, like... Uh, Volo telling her that her mother was gone. What did the Redreos prove in that moment? Redreos? Yeah, I'm not sure I understand. Uh, can you repeat, please? We were brought inside a bar. And inside that bar, there was like Volo that brought you there because you decided to follow him. Okay. There, he decided to have a conversation with June. And mm -hmm. he told her that her mother was uh, dead or kidnapped okay. by the demon that you fought last time. And she was, like, saddened about it. So what did the Dreos feel? Mm. He did not understand what happened. Okay. He's still wondering what was this blade and everything. He felt very weak, first time in his life. Okay. So, afterwards, uh, you were brought outside of the town using a vehicle, and June told you that you were chasing a criminal called Verkiel, which is known to be the leader of the... Crimson Tears, which is an information she discovered like very recently. And she enlisted you for for your help on doing that. Okay. So you have the ride with them, and you and Volo and her infiltrate a facility where you expected him to be there. Unfortunately, that turned to be a trap, and mm -hmm. Verkel managed to neutralize you and Volo at the same time. Okay. You were kidnapped and chained with some special chains that um, impeded you to turn into nanomachines, so to, like, free yourself. They are weapons created by White Crow, specifically, and were stolen by them to use just to contain Argents when they needed to. Mm -hmm. After you've been waking up, you witnessed him like on your knees and Volo next to you talking into a screen. And to that screen, he was having like a vicious conversation, talking to a lot of people and announcing his mad plan to make bombs explode and activate like some sort of virus that afterwards turned a lot of droids and maybe mages, but you're not sure about it, into some kind of externals, but they were more vicious. They were more like uh, 
demons. Okay. After he finished making his speech, he looked at you and Volo specifically, and then the camera, and then shot in the head of June. Oh. <laughs> this is where the group could not see what was happening. And this is where we are starting your gameplay right now. Okay. Verkel shoots in the head of June, and she falls down. Volo, chained, tries to free himself and starts screaming. But he can't, he can't take out his voice because it's like there's a bandana on his face which impedes him to actually say what he wants to. She falls down, and then you have like an explosion of magic that disrupts every um, mechanical thing that there is inside the room. Even your chains. And you get free. Okay. What do you do? Um, looking at Volo first. What he's doing? He's, uh, he's not paying attention to you. He's, uh, okay, what? he's chained and his mouth is shut. Okay, can I unchain him then? Uh, you can first try to free yourself from the chains that they stopped working ah, okay. momentarily. Yeah, but uh, I have, there are the chains in front or behind me? The chains are like in front, they are like chaining your hands. Okay, so I have my hands. Hmm. Yeah, can I try to to, with my strength, try to do something with the chains. Okay. And... Difficulty, difficulty five. Please, roll. Three. <laughs> you notice that you can try to free yourself. You try to do it, but then the chains mm -hmm. are resisting because they are strong. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, you see that uh, the around June, there is like uh, some power of magic that is starting to uh, create. That power is so strong that uh, you feel like uh, the nano machines in your body are struggling to work. You feel like weak, as if something is draining some of your energy. Oh. And Berkiel looks at the situation and is like, damn, this is like way worse than I anticipated. What kind of mana is this? We have to evacuate. And then uh, you notice that uh, the place where you are actually, it's not like uh, some kind of basement, but it's actually an airplane. And the airplane is starting to, <laughs> starting to move like a little bit as if, as if it's been jammed. And they're starting to take control. And then uh, Berke is like, I see that the Argent chains are not holding up. He will be free himself, dispose of him, and take the other one, Bolo, into a basement near here. We will attract them there. So one of the guards that was standing near them takes you and kicks you out of the back of the plane. And you start falling down. <laughs> nice. The last thing you oh. hear is uh, put him into a basement close uh, to the docks. They will go there and we will kill them. Okay. And then you start falling. You are now sky falling, but from very, very high. Even even an Argent okay. can survive that, uh, <laughs> like in these conditions. Okay. Can I try to, to like, uh... Disperse myself uh, into another machine. You are still chained. You need to free yourself first. Okay, so I'm still the chained. Chains, the chains are damaged, so difficulty three. Five. <laughs> okay, you completely break the chains, and now you are nice. free. Your other machines are working. Okay, so I like spray myself to to reduce the my uh, weight. 
What did you do? Sorry. No, I, I just dispersed my myself into another machine. Okay, so you turn into a storm. Okay, as you turn into a storm, you might, you realize that you are flying basically, so you yeah. can uh, you can land, and into the distance. Uh, you notice uh, that uh, there is like a dragon working your direction. In the meantime, <laughs> as you guys are traveling, Yvette has like some kind of vision. Marcus, you notice mm -hmm. that uh, Yvette's eyes are starting to um, be light, lightened, like they are blue. And the mana behind her is um, what's the better? The <laughs> mana behind her is, uh, is starting to act up a little bit, and it's very unstable because it's reacting to uh, one of the items that she took from uh, Red and the last time, mm -hmm. specific the the medallion. What do you do? Okay. She seems like, like, like out of control, as if she's not there. Yvette, can you hear me? Something wrong with you? Guys, do you uh, see that? How close Something you are is wrong Yvette. with her. I'm like, guys, look at her. I don't know what is going on with her. Okay. Uh, um, I don't know about magic, I don't know. Okay, so you so you say it's coming from the from from the amulet that she's wearing, yeah? This... Yeah, no, she's not wearing it. She has like uh, on herself, like on a pocket. Okay. Do I know where it is? Yeah, it's on her right pocket. Okay, I will try to take it off the pocket. Okay, as soon as you try to reach the amulet and get close to her, you get pushed back. But you also have a vision. And you see very, very briefly this figure mm -hmm. and you recognize her immediately it's a uh, uh, Litz Zervoros you mm -hmm. that's indistinguishably her mana and then the flash goes away like in a second mm -hmm. it oh. comes back and she's like sorry guys I I have to go I will follow, I will follow this mana. You keep going and save the others. And then she um, creates uh, like uh, a wave of mana and she starts flying down in another direction. She okay. jumps down from the dragon. I, I don't stop her. I, I let her go. All right. Did you guys do something in the meantime or say something? I'm I just feel concerned that say... I don't do anything. I just say, guys, it's okay. She knows what she's doing. I saw it. She's, she's, uh, I don't know what it was, but I saw Liz Salvaros. So I think there's something that she needs to, 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 to find out about her. Maybe she's out there somewhere. I'm just like, you know, like grappling, grappling like the, the dragon as hard as I can because I'm scared to fall and I'm not really paying attention to what's happening. Okay. And then the Eli turns back and like, Whoa, what is he that? Did she fall down? No, she, she left. She thought, I mean, I don't know, but I saw a, a, a vision of Lisa Varos. I think, I think she's going after find out something about her. She she pops out from the back of the bear and she's like, "Did you let her go alone? Are you stupid?" And then she like goes goes back in because she sees that it's very high and she gets scared about it. <laughs> you keep going, and you notice that there is a, a some kind of a storm of. Uh, you don't understand, it's like insects, nanomachines, like flying around close to you. What you gonna do? Adreus, you see a dragon approaching you. I'm approaching him too. Like, to see what's happening. Like, just to grab. Maybe I can catch him to fly somewhere or rest a bit and then fly myself to to the earth. 
Okay, so you see this uh, storm of nano machine approaching you, and it's way closer. It's about to drop on the dragon. What are you gonna do? I will tell the others that it's probably a red rail since we are going to his location. And yeah. We don't have to be scared. You understand that it's a spin, yes. Okay. So, yeah, I just sure. calm the others. Okay. okay, we stick to that then, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so you grab him, and as you grab him, you start looking at the area around you, which is uh, some kind of port area of the of the city. The bear, you know it very well. It's like one of the best um, appreciated area in the entire town. Only words. <laughs> no, it's not working. Um, let me cut this. Am I able to speak? Or... Yes, of course. You can say something. Okay, so if I'm with them, uh, guys, um, they just kicked me out of a plane. I just heard that they're going with Bono uh, to a basement close to the docks. Okay. Last thing I heard before they kicked me out. So, mm -hmm. okay. So, should we go to the docks too, to the, to get? Okay. Out so, of there? look at the look at the the Twitch shot. Basically, you land into a small island over here. Can I maybe see the the plane from where I felt? Yes, you saw the plane going the opposite direction, but you also see like uh, a small ship going uh, into the direction of the city, so this way. Okay. Like in this okay, direction. I, so the airplane just... goes this way, all right? And then okay. the small ship goes in this way. All right, so we landed there, right? Yes. Uh, for now, since it's very small, okay, use the dot to indicate where you're going, and it's no point of in the miniatures. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I, I just show you. Here is the plane I get kicked out from this. Okay. Yeah, the the plane was like up here, okay. So basically, it went in this direction, and the ship went in this direction. Okay. Well, now that we are here, we don't have much choice. We can. We're not gonna swim through, and we shouldn't probably just. Uh, like... Of course, why swim through? While 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 we have the the bridge over there. No, but the bear must swim. What do you want to catch some fish too? And then Eli is like, notice that she's super tilted about it. <laughs> I'm looking into the water, and can I can I roll like to see if there's if there are fishes in there? Uh, if I see them fishes. or not, there's like a lot of fish in there. <laughs> okay, so even in the dark, we see them, right? Oh, yeah, definitely you okay. because you're a droid. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah. Okay, so guys, what's the plan? And while you decide, I would just like be like fishing like a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Volo is in danger, and she starts slapping you from the inside. Oh, I can't fucking Volo, man. He can take care of himself, right? Uh, he was in a bad situation. I don't know if he can They just killed his girlfriend, too. I don't think he's okay. We should go fast. <laughs> just see yes. if he's still living. <laughs> Definitely, we should. Okay. I'll be back. You notice that uh, in the areas around, like this area over here, which is where you came from, okay? And uh, this area over here, there is like a lot of smoke, like the same that uh, attacked the city last time. Okay. So we might want to avoid those areas, but we were quite far. Like the place behind, yeah. beyond the bridge doesn't seem affected, right? No, that place doesn't seem affected. Okay. So let's go. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, about the bridge though. You, not you start so... moving and you notice that this uh, island uh, here is like uh, is deserted. 
the this place is like a been abandoned like uh, it's been evacuated there is like a boat over here that um it's uh, it's like um it's like abandoned you know like i've seen someone was there but then it's been taken away from it so you see that uh, people left in a hurry yeah guys stay like stay alert because there might be like droid zombies in the water you never know <clears throat> crossing 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 as you cross the bridge Redreus receives a communication the, the signal is like a little bit damaged but uh, you are able to fix it if you want yeah and can i put it already on the speaker like everybody listen in the yeah. same moment when, when it's uh, saying yes you can okay so please oh redreus i saw that you survived my little fall I was expecting that, so you can die along with your little friends. You notice that it's the voice of Verkiel. I would actually say hi. Hi, Ria, how's going? It's a long time no see. Hmm. And also tell you that uh, in case you try to get close to your little friend, Volo, and one of my guards elected. I will just kill him. And you see that there is like a, a room uh, with a lot, which is like some kind of basement. And Bolo is like uh, chained there. And there's like some guards looking at him. And one of them like has a, has a rifle on aiming on his head. So you get caught, he dies. You can also decide to leave your friend if you want. Let's see who wins this little game. They disconnect. Before you disconnect, so you wanna say something? We have time. I mean, to tell him something. To be honest, they gave us the choice, like to leave him there, right? So we can, we could just move on and. But we're not gonna do that. Can I check the from where the message came? Like from. It came from the airplane that uh, dropped you down. It's like already far away. Okay. All right. Well, let's go save his house, I guess. Yes. All right. So we enter the town, I guess. You enter the town, and you notice that there are some small drones flying around. Okay. Can we try to hack them? Yes, if you want. Okay. Difficulty five. Mm -hmm. I think I have, I think I have five in tinkering. I need to check every time. I have five in tinkering. Okay. And I think I can help you. Oh, no, I got three in tinkering. So I have eight. Yeah. Eight in total. Okay, so are uh, you're also hacking them. If I, if it can help, yeah, I can try. Yeah, you can act them, you can help him, yes. If you help him, it's going to be more effective. Okay, uh, so, so I do it. Okay, so you both act the drones, and the drones, like, uh, uh, you see that you are actually controlling them. Nobody noticed that. You can, uh, you have, like, uh, free usage of them. Okay. What you're going to do? Trying to... I'll try to circle around the town, the main town, like the village or whatever. It looks like a village. Okay, I'll circle so... around the village and to see if there is any any enemies, like or like you... something that looks like dangerous. Okay, so you make like a giant uh, um, scouting of the area, and then as you do it, you reveal like the um, the entire zone, especially like uh, part of the area like this. And you notice that uh, while the village doesn't have like a lot of uh, people anymore, like there are still some, but they are more uh, busy running away, there are some guards uh, looking around the, the other side of the town. More specifically, okay. there are two snipers, one here and one here. 
Are they are they zombified or they're just like guarding the place? Hey, they look normal for now. 